So my son was riding the mini bike and uh, he noticed the front wheel looked funny. And uh, well there's your problem. The rim has literally rusted apart from where the, the bolts hold it together. That's the tube in there. So uh, we'll get it apart and uh, see if there's anything left to weld it back together with and try to get her fixed up. Hey Tolerinos, here's my son's latest acquisition. It is a old yard roller. He picked it up at Habitat for Humanity. He paid up for this, $35, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but it seems old and very well made. You, know, you add water to it to make it heavier, but it's already pretty heavy because it's made of steel. And it has square nuts and bolts uh, for all the main fasteners other than for the tongue, which appears to have been repaired at some point up there. But uh, it seems very well made and it does have bearings here and it rolls really nice. So good capital item. Here's a little update of what my son's working on here in the middle of February. He's fixing up his little dirt bike here. And uh, he made a repair to the front fender, which was broken almost all the way through with the uh, zip ties. I told him I made the similar type of repair in my youth with uh, stainless steel lock wire. And he used uh, zip ties. So it seems like it worked pretty well. Just don't look underneath. And that way, lock wire is a superior fix because it doesn't have all those things on the bottom as he rolls his eyes at me. <laughs> all right, Tularinos, it's been a very good day for my son. <laughs> Strike that, it's been a very good weekend. He got to ride my Yamaha YZ250 for the first time. And then today we went and traded his small dirt bike for this functional Honda Odyssey with a lot of non-original stuff, but it works. No brakes, but it does work. It has a snowmobile engine. And he still plans to fix up the basket case Odyssey, which is all original stuff. But uh, he really wanted something he could ride while well, he's young enough to appreciate it. <laughs> All set? Yep. Start me up. Now we're going to have to race this and the yellow go-kart to see which is faster. I'm pretty sure I know the answer. to make him fix that part of the yard.
Here's a little shop update in my son's shop. He's working on his new Odyssey. That's right, his second Odyssey. Uh, he's got the seat out and the floor out, and he's trying to undo some of the modifications the previous owner or owners have, have done to it. But uh, he's also going through, you know, all the suspension and the bearings and making sure everything's lubricated and greased and working well. And he did find that he needs to replace the rear axle, but uh, he seems to have no shortage of spares that came with the basket case Odyssey. So hopefully uh, one of those is still good. And, uh, you know, he's tracking down some wiring issues and... Uh, He's learning a lot along the way. Uh, he's going to put a battery on it, a lawn tractor battery, so it can have a horn, which is from my old 1977 Chevy Nova, my first car. And, uh, you know, he's making a, a right mess in his shop out here, but that's uh, that just means he's doing stuff out here, and I'm, I'm okay with that. Right, son? Yep. All right, here's the uh, the latest Odyssey update. Uh, my son changed the front shocks. These are actually the original shock absorbers from my 1972 Chaparral 100. <laughs> and uh, he changed out that front control arm uh, with the donor part from the basket case Odyssey. The other one was all welded up and, uh, I don't know, it was a mess. <laughs> He uh, repainted the floor piece and the shrouding for the engine. He also swapped out the gearbox with a spare that came with the basket case Odyssey. He has several of those. He swapped out the rear axle again with a spare that came with the uh, basket case Odyssey. The axle that was on here, which he saw him uh, with his initial ride. We realized these rear wheels were very sloppy uh, and we pulled them off you could see the splines were really worn out so he's got a better axle from the uh, basket case odyssey with uh, better hubs with these bigger wheels and uh, he's excited to put those on so he has a higher top speed and uh, you know moving right along he did have this out for a quick test drive after he got the front end all put back together and for those of you who aren't familiar with the one of the coolest features of the Honda Odyssey is that um, there's no pedals and there's no twist throttle like on a, a motorcycle or a quad. It has this cool steering wheel that has these armatures that go to triggers. This is the throttle. So when you grip the steering wheel Here's the brake on this side and the throttles on that side. So all you do is use your hands while you hold the steering wheel to control it. Your feet do nothing but brace yourself. <laughs> all right, he's got the, the newer Odyssey back together. He's got some of his parts painted and the front end all put back together. Seat and seat belt all reassembled. He's got the new rear end, uh, axle, gearbox, carburetors are fixed so they're not leaking anymore. We had to adjust the, uh, the needle arms that uh, go between the float and the needles. And uh, that seems to have helped. And she's ready to go.